starting over. <sighs> I tried to end my life. Isn't always a walk in the park. I was way too far down deep that I didn't know how to get out. I didn't see a way out. Heather Othier had the house, kids, husband, and the lifestyle money can buy. Until the longtime accountant wrote a couple of illegal checks she couldn't cash. Drugs and alcohol seem to be the way to kind of numb things. Um, obviously, that comes at a cost. That cost? Essentially. 16 months in prison. It was a horrible decision. I would never do that again. But it's interesting how, like, God works. She spent some of her time with the Knoxville Area Urban League, which just started its Rise Reentry program. I call it a hug. Director Denise Carr says it's designed to give felons or inmates work and resume training with the goal of launching a full time career suited for their skill sets. And it's a holistic, unified guidance. Carr says on average, there are 1,300 people incarcerated in Knox County. The numbers are not necessarily growing, but I do think they're staying sustainable. And what that means is recidivism. You know, they get out and then things happen and then they end up going back in. The program already seeing success, starting with this mom of two. She not only graduated, but landed a job as a youth counselor just two weeks after her release. And you just keep moving forward every day. A new start. She's now running laps around. Don't look back, ever. <laughs> In Knox County, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. Felons or inmates.